A little update on the cement mixer motor. So here I removed the bell. Thanks to Dean over at the Air Cave, uh, his channel, and I'll put a link to his channel. But he took he has a motor very similar to this, a little bit older, same size, same frame configuration. The only difference actually was it's was it has plane bearings, not uh, roller bearings. But he took his apart, had a dead mouse in it, and uh, <laughs> had to clean it out also. Uh, but his capacitors, he had two capacitors in his, similar looking to this, but had the label still. So he knew what capacitance was in his motor. And and I, my guess is the capacitance for this motor is the same. Now he had two capacitors in his motors and my motor has that same setup that two that you can mount two capacitors. So probably mine might have had two capacitors at this at the uh, at, at construction also maybe, but they may have changed it to one capacitor. Purchased two new capacitors so that they're the the same size as his two capacitors. Uh, so I had the same capacitance because I don't know what this is. So I've hooked them up in parallel. I made a little extra clip here, mounted them in, and we'll hook them up and put this back together and test it. Now, uh, I've been asked uh, why, what, what does, do the capacitors do in the motor? Well, this is a capacitor start motor. There are basically uh, two sets of windings in here and what the capacitors do is cause a 90 degree phase shift of the incoming power. Now we're going to we're going to run it here on 110 or 115, 120 volt. Uh, or my power here is 120 volts. Uh, single phase power. And what that does is the incoming power to the motor on the starting windings, which the capacitors are hooked to, will be 90 degrees out of phase with the run windings. And causing a, the, the AC causes a pulsation. It's, it's, it's continually changing positive, negative, right? So you have these two pulsating fields, magnetic fields, that are 90 degrees out of phase. And that's what causes a torque action for the motor to pull and uh, that's what the capacitors cause is that 90 degrees out of phase action of the incoming AC now if you want more information on that there's tons of stuff on the internet lots of great dem uh, videos on it uh, showing you demonstration of this and and far more de extensive uh, description uh, uh, I'm not going to go into all that <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, check on the internet, check YouTube. There's tons of stuff out there. But that's the basics of it is the out of phase causing the, the torque action of the windings. So let's hook this back together and give it a test. So I had mine in here, mounted in here, hooked up in parallel, and I had to make a little extra clip uh, for that. And these capacitors have nice uh, quarter inch lugs on them to have a uh, quick connects.
All right, we're temporarily wired wired together here, and I for you turning, and you know, let's give it a test. There we go. Runs smooth. Starts quick. Yeah, hopefully it has plenty of torque. This size motor has lots of torque for uh, being just a capacitor start type motor. This, this is a big motor, big windings, lots of magnetic field there. Now it's ready to go. One of the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a drum switch for controlling the forward and reverse. Uh, this is a reversible motor and it, the way the mixer works uh, it would be nice to be able to reverse the drum and so we're going to put it in so we can run it in both directions 